Uh, let's get into the news. After several reports that key White House officials are planning to leave the administration, Donald Trump has now asked his staff to decide by the end of the month whether they're going to quit or stay on through the November midterm elections. Yet yeah, they're, they're, they're asking their staff who's going to be leaving the White House. <laughs> Right now, they should, they should just be asking the Justice Department, who's going to be leaving the White House? Could you let us know? <laughs> I don't want to say Trump's being petty, but he said to the staff, if you leave, just to be clear, you're not breaking up with me, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> At the end of the meeting, Trump gave employees a choice. Uh, he, he gathered them together, and basically it went like this. He said, listen, guys, you have to decide by the end of the month, whether you're going to... And they went, we choose leave, leave, we're going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> In other Washington news, Congresswoman, uh, Congresswoman Jackie Speer is encouraging lawmakers to wear black to President Trump's upcoming State of the Union address, um, just like the stars at the Golden Globes, to support the Me Too movement. And if you think this is going to be like the Golden Globes, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until after the next election when the State of the Union speech is given by President Oprah. <laughs> um, they're all going to get dressed in black for Trump's speech. That's assuming Trump doesn't just knock out the entire State of the Union address in one tweet <laughs> from his bed. <laughs> Um, maybe they should go a step further. Maybe Trump should wear all black, too. I mean, maybe. It's certainly more flattering than when he wears all white. <laughs> uh, and we saw this story that was fun. HBO has partnered with a hotel company in Finland to create a Game of Thrones-themed hotel that's made entirely out of ice. Take a look. Look at that. There, there are the ice sculptures of all the characters from the show. Um, here's another photo of one of the bedrooms. Like... <laughs> yeah, that should make for a good night's sleep, shouldn't it? <laughs> Curled up on a slab of ice with a white walker staring down at you, just like... <laughs> Um, the Game of Thrones Hotel is also available for conferences, corporate retreats, and red weddings. <laughs> um, don't clap it. Do not. Don't you dare. You're better than that. We're not. You are. Um, the hotel, though, is so serious about their Game of Thrones theme that in order to go into your room, you have to punch in your parents' HBO Go password. <laughs> Finally, in health news, officials in Utah are warning residents that up to 2,000 people could have been exposed to hepatitis A at a local 7-Eleven if they used the restroom or consumed certain food items. So that's good news for all of you who were just there to enjoy the ambiance. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say, if you're using the bathroom at a 7-Eleven... Chances are you've got some bigger problems in your life than hepatitis A. <laughs> Even worse, health officials are also warning 7-Eleven customers that they may have been exposed to, to, to taquitos. <laughs> it's a good joke. I did it badly. <laughs> That's all on me, that one. If the camera goes over there, you'll see our writing team there. They spent hours on that joke, and look at that disapproving look that they're giving me now. Two taquitos. It's hard to say, in my defense. <laughs> Two taquitos. Can you say it, Reg? Two taquitos. There you go. <laughs> now, according to uh, health officials, people could be at risk for hepatitis A if they use that 7-Eleven between December 26th and January 1st. <laughs> it's all part of a, pro a promotion 7-Eleven is calling Happy New Year. 